Hi, welcome to Ranging Country. I'm Lawrence. And I'm Peter. And we're here to bring you honest reviews of air guns and shooting equipment. Okay, so with us today, we've got a bit of a special video for it, for you all. This here in front of us is the brand new BSA Ultra CLX Pro regulated. And this one is a limited run special edition version. So it's got this, might I say, quite gorgeous uh, forest laminate stock, uh, adjustable stock, regulated side lever, all the bits and bobs, we'll get to that in the video. Okay, so into the features section then. Uh, I'm gonna lean on you a little bit here with this, because um, obviously you've had the, the spiel from, from yeah. BSA. Um, so what does this come with? What does this offer over a standard Ultra? Okay, so they've regulated this one. Now, it's the same regulator as the R12 unit, but they've changed it and it's an inline regulator. So instead of being uh, a separate housing on the, uh, similar to the R10, the R12, they've actually made it all in, in one housing. That sounds like it's saving weight and complexity. Certainly. So, so it's it's saving depth as well, right? Because yeah. that that uh, that unit was sort of the regulator unit was bolted on the it was front. Another of the, section as block. well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but this one is a is a a brand new inline, same regulator, same tested regulator on the R12 that's been out for how long? Have we had the R12 two for two years now. Is it one year, two years? I don't know. I lose track of time. I don't know. It's a good year, isn't it? Yeah. And I think in that time we have had. Zero regulator problems, zero regulator Certainly that queries I even. Think of off the top of my head, yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously compare that to the R10s of old, but yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Moving onwards and upwards there. So it's a proven yeah. and it's completely problem free, that regulator. So regulated side lever. Oh, very so, fancy. That's yeah. what the Pro is That's in the, the Pro. Ultra CLX Pro. And it's the same in the R12, isn't it? The, the Pro is the... Yeah. Uh, so this lovely side lever here, which... It is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's very, very smooth. The The biathlon lever, the vertical section of the lever, actually spins. I don't know if we can get that on camera because it's quite a small thing. Um, but that spins. So as you pull it back, your fingers aren't actually slipping on that biathlon lever. It's... The, the lever is turning with That's you, right. which is, it is very nice. a nice little addition. Big fans of side levers, aren't we? Yeah, 100%. I mean, especially when it's on the right-hand side, the correct <laughs> side. <laughs> I thought you'd get that in there somewhere. And we can't change it over to the left-hand side, unfortunately. But <laughs> then we get on to that's, piece de resistance. Yeah, the, the metal work is, yeah, it's regulated side yeah, lever, nice. That's the, that's, to me, that's the boring bit. Yeah, they've this. done that. They've done that before with the R12. Yeah, what they haven't done before. This is a very special stock, I, I think. Now we, we've had forest laminates available in different manufacturers for for quite a while, haven't we? Years, and they've been the most popular the most popular edition of that rifle, haven't they? Yeah, people see it and they they just fall in love with it straight away. It is. It is a thing of beauty, I think. Yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, the cameras, I'm looking in the monitor now, it doesn't look as good in the camera as it does in real life. No. There's I a mean, lot... it, look, it looks good on that on that picture, but it's it really does. It, it's it's not as shiny as that camera is purveying. It's uh it, it it is very, very nice. I think it's I mean when I heard that they were they were doing the CLX in in the forest laminate, I, I got very excited straight away. Yeah, because I know, you know, we, we've had day state Wolverines for for a long, long time. Yes. and you pull one out of the box, and people just they fall in love with it. Yeah, it it, it is a, a a walnut can be a bit meh. You get a bad bit of walnut, you get a good bit of walnut. Yeah, grey laminates have been very, very nice over the years. I think I know that BSA have done quite a few over the years as well. Yeah, um, they're a bit sameish to me. Yeah, grey laminates, grey laminates. Yeah. Whereas you see a forest, you think, oh, yeah, the yeah. greens and the greys, I guess you'd call it, and the brown. 
really pop out and really they stand do. out well. Yeah. Now I didn't know what what I was going to think to it until I actually saw the rifle in in the flesh, and I think it's probably even better than I imagined. Yeah. Now you mentioned this how how nice this looks, didn't you? Yeah. Um, the, the the black soft soft touch black adjustable cheek piece, and also adjustable is the is the butt. Yeah. So up, up and down and side to side. We haven't Just, tested that one. No, no, that's why uh, up and down for sure. Um, the thing I really like about it is um, the the lines of it. Everything above this sort of line here is black. Whereas, so if that was the is that if that continued with the laminate, it would be that would be the laminate there, mm. and then at that that's level you'd have the black at there. So whereas the black there at that level is all black, yeah. above, which I think is very very smart, and it makes it it's a nice soft touch. It uh, is. That, that, that is that. That is nice. Now another thing, just just staying on the with the stock that I pointed out today was the fitted sling studs. Whether you're a fan of a sling or not, I don't know. But a lot of people are a fan of bipods, bipods. Yeah, and they want to be able to put it in. And you know, you get a nice stock. You, you buy either a walnut, you buy a, a laminate stock, and you want it drilled and yeah, it's always a bit hit and miss. Certainly on our end, it's like yeah, we know what we're doing, but it's just the chance of of, of messing up. It is, I think yeah. BSA are one of the few manufacturers that still come factory Standard. drilled. Yeah, yeah, which is 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 great for when you need it. Is if you if you want a sling on from factory, bang, ultra, there you go. Yeah, put your put your put your bipod on that as well. It's uh yeah, that was just something worth mentioning, I think. Um, so where that, else are we? That was just the stock. Yeah. We, we spent quite a few minutes there rabbiting on about the stock. It needed it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it deserves it, I think. It, it is... I think you really need to see one of these in the flesh to, to appreciate the, the, the quality of it. Yeah. We will. I will just mention before we move on, we've got a fully adjustable trigger blade in here. Um, Again, it's, it's it's a rifle of this sort of quality. You would expect a you would expect a nice adjustable trigger. Yeah, you would. Yeah. So this is a limited run of a special edition. Now, what the, the, they have a certain amount of these stocks that that they, that they have, and when these are exhausted, they need to decide whether they're going to order some more. If if they've been very successful, then they then they will. But it's going to be quite a while before the next run are available. So. To the tune of seven or eight months. Yeah, probably probably six, I think, some something like that. So um, it's a limited number. I think probably around about the 250 mark, roughly. Don't know for sure. Um, yeah, and for this, uh, the, the limited the, run. The fact that it's the special edition, what you get with it is... You do. You get... A really good scope. Now this is a six to twenty-four by forty-four side focus illuminated reticle uh, second focal plane scope. Yeah, bit of a mouthful. Yeah, does come with flip-up covers. I took them off. I wasn't too. Uh, I prefer it without them, to be honest. So I wanted to clean the lines. Took them off. Does come with a sunshade on the front. Can you see that honeycomb? A little sunshade? honeycomb sunshade. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get a photo of that in post. Yeah, um, yeah it's quite and smart. And these are actually the new BSA range of scopes. This is this is the start of those. So they are from a they're a new line. I can't help but think him. Yeah, it looks quite familiar. Does it? Hmm. Did they say anything about in the factory about it? Where they where no. if they change suppliers or anything? Yeah. Might have done. Might, might might be a new supplier. Okay. What does it look like to you? Looks like the uh, the the Veyron. Okay. They've been quite popular recently as they well, have. so it's yeah, quite yeah. a quite a clever thing to, to to mimic if if they have done. Yeah. Could be. It's quite smart. Yeah. It is. It's also got adjustable mounts on it. Obviously, it's a nine to eleven mil rail on the ultras on all BSAs. I misspoke. Is it thirteen mil? Thirteen mil. We had this discussion today actually at the factory. Um, and it is a 13 mil, mil, mil rail, and these are 13 mil mounts. Very smart. Yeah. 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 
uh, and I did ask why they're still on 13 mil mounts when the convention for everybody else is nine to 11. And didn't really have an answer. It's just everything set up for it. So um, there we go. That's what it is at the minute. So that's the scope. Obviously yep. the rifle is a 12 round magazine. We've known that for, for a little while with the Ultra CLX. That's yep. nothing to it. Now these these magazines on the, on the, on the um, they had a few issues with the magazines, didn't they, on the R12? The original ones, yeah, they were yeah, metal-backed. These, these they? are fully, these are the new version. Yeah. These are fully redeveloped and they are problem-free. We've, we've been, obviously, we're in, uh, in, our, in our zero in, uh, there wasn't really a great deal of difference between the single shot and the magazine, which is testament which to is, how good the magazine which is. is not normal. You normally find that uh, the magazines have a little bit more spread than the single shot. And if you really want the best accuracy, you want to be on the single shot. As most rifles that we that we test in zero, we would do. But straight through, bang them out. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, magazines are brilliant, bomb proof. Yeah, we know that with the with the standard ultra. Yeah, you do get um, a very smart single shot loader. It's uh, it slides in mag magnetized uh, on the side there, same as the, the same as the magazine, um, and it folds out, and it clicks, and it's very, very positive. Solid. Yeah, yeah, very, very positively clicks in on that, on that magnet, and that uh, that uh, ball bearing ident on there is very positive. You can hear it click as well. That's a very reassuring click. That was me trying to put it up to the microphone to hear it. And did it work? Maybe. <laughs> we'll know in post. Now, on these well, with with this um, the, uh, the the special package that, uh, that they've put together for these, they don't have enough of these single shot magazines. They're still waiting for them to come in. So what they are actually doing, you're having a warranty registration card with this pack, and you photograph the QR code on there, and that gives them the the, the details of the purchaser. I don't know how it's all over my head. Probably Lawrence can uh, about how QR codes work. It's beyond me. Um, but what you do, you register your details for the warranty, and that means that you, they will send you the single shot magazine when they come into stock. But it also and also, according to my little piece of paper here, which is the most exciting part, I think it entitles the the person that purchased this rifle to enter a draw for a, a factory tool. Mm. And I'm led to believe a little bag of goodies as well when you go around the factory. So it's uh, very nice. Now, the, the BSA was saying today that not many people actually get to look around the factory. Right. Um, I, I know some, some factories, you know, that they encourage people to look around. Um, BSA not so much. So there's not many people I actually look around the BSA factory. I did today and I did many, many years ago. I, I, I had, a, had a tour of the factory. Um, it's always nice to see behind behind the curtain is, yeah, as it were. How they're actually made because they everything's shiny, everything's new, everything's brilliant. But when you see the raw materials and how it's how it's processed and how it's manufactured, that's the clever bit, I think. And it's brilliant that it's all still in Birmingham. It is, yeah. Now, the machine that these these are made on, and I actu I've actually got a, a little video clip of that stamping being put onto the barrel. Okay. Um, and of the, the, the barrels being made, and I'm going to put that on Facebook with a, just a little, little bit of info about how the barrels are done and the yeah. difference between a, a barrel blank and a barrel, well, a barrel pre... pre um, uh, what's the word for the um, rifling? Yeah, before the Burning. rifling's put in and be before it's uh, it receives its thirty thousand hammer blows. Um, so that's quite interesting. I I I, I learned a bit today. Every day is a uh, a school day, as they say. Yeah, hundred percent. So moderator as well on here. Yeah, is the VC silencer as well? Um, comes with the it's the same one that comes with the R twelve though, isn't it? But obviously that has a shroud around it. It does, yeah. So yeah. 
and also a thread protector. Yeah, muzzle brake probably wouldn't call it a muzzle brake. No, Little thread protector. Referred to as a muzzle brake. So that's that would that would go all back onto there. Yeah. Um, again, same as this Ultra CLX that we've we've had for for a good while. Mm. That's not the new thing about this. No. Also get a hard case as well, don't you? You do. Very and, nicely contoured hard and it's, case. It's the nice negrini hard cases, and it, the foam inside is all cut out. The um, the foam inside is actually cut out for the rifle and the scope and all the accessories. It's all very smart. Is, it is very nice. It is very smart kit. Yeah. Very impressed. Anything else that we're missing? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> now these mounts, did, did we say these mounts are adjustable? I may have mentioned it briefly. Yeah, so that if you can't, I mean, the adjustable mounts, what it means basically is if you can't get enough um, elevation elevation on either, either elevation or, or whichever, if you need to lift, lift the front or the back up, you can slacken two screws and just lift it slightly. It saves packing the mounts out, you know, with the old bit of Coke can. Yeah. As a lot of guns you... You still have to do, it's still here a bit now. Um, saves all that. Yep, fair enough. Yeah, it's, it's nice that they come with it. Another it little. Certainly is. We, certainly is. We, we didn't have any problems with, with zero in it. It wasn't uh, particularly far out, up and down, or, or left and right, or anything. No. Um, so I can't see that you need them, but it's nice to have them when you've got them. Maybe that's a sort of a byproduct of the being 30 mil rail, 13 mil rail. Could be. Possibly. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, don't you don't know. Yeah. Okay, so we've gone through the gun, side lever, regulated, the stock, the very, very nice stock, all the bits and bobs that come with it. Shall we go into the numbers on it, weight yeah. and handling and bits and bobs? Yeah. Okay, on to handling then. So, some headline figures, total weight of the rifle, about 3.1 kilos about three and a half with the scope on um 83 centimeters with the silencer muzzle off break. yeah yeah with the muzzle break on muzzle break on silencer off something yeah. like that and then 96 we measured it at with the silencer off yeah uh still a short rifle isn't it because still very take compact. it hunting yeah yeah, yeah yeah definitely yeah it's it's yeah it's very compact ultras always have been there haven't they that's been their whole thing yeah. I, I suppose Sinking the regulator into a, to that single single piece um, uh, unit, um, that's going to help with that as well. Um, certainly, not going to hurt to keep the weight down and keep the size down. Yeah, I have to say, the stock subjectively is very very nice. The adjustable stock we didn't need with this scope on um, when we when we were zeroing it. Mm. Uh, it's very very comfortable. It, it is. It's nice and short. It's nice and weight. It's it the the fore end is chunky enough that you can feel something's there, but if you want something a, a little bit finer, you can move your hand forward to the front of the fore end there. I think your hand sits perfectly around that pistol grip there, um, and sits nicely up to the trigger blade. Yeah, you've got the safety catch at the back there, which we haven't touched on, have we? No, very very similar to the um, the R12s. There you go. From the top camera. Yeah. Are we ready to actually shoot the thing? Yeah, let's just see exactly how good it is and uh, how good we can shoot it. See if you can uh, keep the groupings that you were getting during zeroing. Yeah. If so, it'd be very impressive. Yeah. Let's okay. have a go. Let's give it a go. Okay, let's give it a go. Let's see what it shoots like. Yeah, let's have a look. Now, we did have a little uh, interesting discovery when we were zeroing it, when we were pellet testing. Yeah. Um, the pellets supplied were BSA's own Black Stars. Now, whether it's this rifle in particular or what, but the pellets that we found that it shot best with were the QAS Streamlined Heavies. The trusty, trusty. QAS Streamlined. We use them in most guns. Seem to be our go-to palette yeah at the minute the black stars were yeah it was just a little bit certainly not as accurate as these but let's see let's see what these uh what these do and uh oh again let's see what i can do yeah 
wonder what excuses we're going to come up with today. Well, I've got a bit of a shiver on because it's a, it's quite chilly in here. It's so, a bit cold. Yeah. So can I get that one in the bag to start with? Not bad if you want to call it now. <laughs> That was a shiver. So this is at uh, this is on our, our 25 meter indoor range. Um, we've got our own little tunnel set up. I, I think we've mentioned it in, in previous videos, but I thought anyone new to the channel with the, with the new the new, uh, new Ultra, um, I thought I'd just mention it. This will be a full magazine of 12, if it counts, oh, apart from that one. Got a bit excited about that one. It was a big shiver. No, that was a cocky speed shoot, that was. That should be all 12. Bang on. That, I mean, that is, on, on our monitors here, I think we've said it in one of the previous videos, um, our monitor blows the, blows the targets up twice as much as they are. Nearly, I think. Something yeah, like nearly. that in real life. Um, so for us, that looks like quite a big group on the, on the telly here. Um, that when we get the uh, when we get the card when we get the target back in a sec, we're going to get the trusty range and country pound coin. Um, that is going to be superb shooting. For we might 12. need we might need to invest in a range of country five pence coin for that Ooh. one. To be honest, I apart from that last one, just apart that, from that coffee that shop. Second, to, yeah, yeah, the second to last. I was just on those overconfident. Shouldn't have done it. Should have taken a bit more care with it. But done. But cool. the other eleven were pretty, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. yeah. Okay, let's go into the conclusion. Yeah. In conclusion, then. In conclusion, what do we think? Well, I think it's brilliant, gorgeous, handles well, shoots really well. What do you think? Now, I, I'm a big, 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 big fan of this stock. This, this. This forest laminate, it's just, it's one of my favourites. Yeah. I'm uh, a sucker for blue, personally. Close second is the forest. I'd probably agree with that. It mm, depends what day it is. Everyone's everyone's different. Everyone's different, yeah. yeah. But it, it, it is a stunning piece of, of woodwork. Yeah. It is very, very nice. Side lever, it's regulated. It's all the things you want at rifle, just yeah. for stock. And this special edition comes with everything. It comes with a whole package. It does, yeah. Uh, and everything works perfectly with each other. The scope works really well on the rifle because it's nice and compact. Um, and it fits nice and snugly in the hard case. It's nice, yeah. And that contoured yeah, foam. Yeah, it does definitely. Now, as, as I said before, there's around about 250 of these available in the first run. If they carry them on, they, they may well be available next year again. Um, currently, that's sort of where, where, where we're at. This so is it, yeah. It's uh, it, it's here currently, and uh, it's a thing of beauty. Yeah. You Come know, on, get your hands on one. Get your hands on one, have a look. You will be... Um, you, you won't be disappointed. Yeah. You certainly won't be disappointed. Yeah. 100%. Okay. Definitely. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, we will see you in the next video. Thank you.